Your budget has passed. How are you feeling today? Uh, excellent. Uh, we're finally paying our way and uh, en route to get the city back on track after inheriting that $1.8 billion budget deficit. When people look at the property tax now, though, they might think, okay, what does this mean and how are we going to see immediate results? Well, uh, it's about 80 cents more per day of average for homeowners and for half of Torontonians that are renters there would be no impact because we lowered the multi-residential rate to 3.5 and uh, for those that can't afford to pay I understand there's a tax cancellation program and a tax deferral program to support people. What do you expect in terms of uh, the reaction to that and how many people might look into that as a, an option? Well, we don't know yet. Uh, we welcome people to call 311 to get the information to see whether they qualified and think about, okay, um, 80 cents extra per day. What, what does that mean, right? So, um, but for that, you're getting better public services, better TDC services, um, potholes getting filled, uh, community centers, and all of the aging <coughs> infrastructure will get renewed somewhat, and we still need more, but uh, um, building affordable housing, that's what people said we need to do. That's quite the list. Obviously, you've referred to a recent pothole blitz on a Saturday and being able to do that sort of thing. What other, what other types of things are we going to see in the immediate aftermath so people know that their money is being put to something? Well, they notice that uh, if you are on a streetcar on King Street, it's three times faster now because we have these traffic agents directing traffic, so no more uh, intersection blockers. Um, so you will see, um, and the chief is going to come up with a multi, a police chief, multi-year uh, staffing plan to lower response time and get officers up on the street. So lots of different uh, ways to measure what, how we're doing it and what are the goals and then how fast are we meeting those goals. Speaking of police, are you fearful that you've lost some of the supporters that you had because you've offered them the money that they were looking for? Well, um, one of the reasons why it took me quite a while to get to the decision of finding the 12 million for the police is because I didn't want to cut any services, right? All those programs that we're talking about, we want to have a drop-in for homeless people, warming centers, respite centers, more shelters to, you know, because if it's going to snow, they need a place to shelter. Okay, we'll let you take this, get back to work right away. Thank you. Are they, oh, look, they are, we have city service at work helping to deal with the streetcar. <laughs>